Hello there, I'm Samantha Seeger and I am one of the producers of the film of Invincible. Our story is set in June 2012. The Afghanistan war is still raging, the Euros have just started and the country is gripped in pre-Olympic fever. The recession is biting hard and Emily and Oliver decide to relocate to a small town in the north of England. They want to live, work and raise their kids amongst what they term real people, away from the cold anonymity of London. So I was lucky enough to play Dawn in the original production of Invincible, which um, opened at the Orange Tree Theatre in Richmond and was such a success, it got taken into the West End. And when I was in it, I remember thinking, oh, this would just make the most incredible film. Um, Torben's writing is extraordinary. It's so much more than just pitching rich against poor within the story. The characters are exceptionally well developed and they all go on journeys, they're believable souls. And through the story and as it emerges, you know, we just see how government policy affects people so much from different socioeconomic backgrounds. It's a story about neighborliness, it's a story about love, it's about kindness, it's about war, fighting for your country. But ultimately, it's a story about not being true to yourself. Just, just want to feel like I belong, Emily. Yes, but belong to what, exactly? So next year is 2022. It's 10 years since this story was set, and it feels timely because the piece strangely predicts many of the things that have happened since. Um, it just feels like it's the perfect time to look back at what now seem to be the halcyon days of 2012 to see just how far, or not, we have come. Coming on board as our director and one of the producers, Emma Croft started her career in the industry as an actor. She worked with the likes of Colin Firth, Griffith Jones and Julia Ormond, as well as being part of the English Shakespeare Company with Michael Pennington and Michael Bogdanoff. With a long career as an actor, over the last decade, Emma has developed her filmmaking skills and directed herself in the short films Honest Lies and Left Hand Side. With two directing credits to her name, this will be Emma's debut feature film as a director. So let me introduce you to the cast. We have the incredible Laura Howard, who is reviving her role as Emily. Laura has worked extensively as an actor, appearing in many theatres, Royal Shakespeare Company, The Donmar Warehouse, and on TV and screen, she's been in Call the Midwife, Young Dracula. And Laura is probably most well known for playing Cully Barnaby, John Nettles' daughter, in the long-running TV series, Midsummer Murders. Look, I, I know these people. Dad! Dad, I am going. With Simon. What's all that about? You will accept an invitation to meet your new neighbours who are going out of their way to be sociable at... You'll be here when the football's over. And instead of arriving at the agreed time, you just turn up whenever you like. England are playing! Also reviving his role as the wonderful Alan is Daniel Copeland, an incredible actor. He's well known for being an afterlife in Casualty and um, he's played some amazing roles on stage. For instance, he played Bilbo Baggins in The Hobbit in the West End and Baloo in The Jungle Book. So he's, um, he's a fantastic character actor and um, he's going to be coming back to revive his Alan. Stop. Oh, yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. Wait, wait, Mr. Postman. Also, very excitingly, we have the award-winning playwright and screenwriter Torben Betts, who wrote the piece Invincible. He actually wrote this part for himself back in the day. Um, and we are absolutely delighted that he's going to be stepping in and taking on the role of Oliver. And then there's me. Uh, I'm going to be reviving my role as Dawn. And... Um, as an actor, I've been working in this industry for many years, over 30 years now. <laughs> um, check out my CV if you want to see some of my work. But I guess most recently I've been playing Marlene in the West End production of Only Fools and Horses, the musical. Makes you proud to be British, doesn't it? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> what is it? It's Nelson's Common. Oh, right. It's big, isn't it? I've also been involved in a number of films. Um, at the moment, you can catch me in Doll Factory, feature film which is being shown on Amazon Prime and about to be released is the sequel to the award-winning This Is Vanity, in which I played Tracy and the sequel is called Iniquity. And very excitingly, we have the backing and support of one of our national treasures, the comedy legend, Mr Paul Whitehouse 
who is one of our executive producers. So the money that we raise will be going towards various aspects of the production. Most notably, we need to create a realistic living room set and um, obviously pay our cast and our crew a decent wage and um, cover the cost of hiring equipment and insurance and feeding and looking after everybody while we do the shoot, which we anticipate will take two to three weeks and we're going to be doing this in June. Also something that's worth mentioning is that many of us involved in the production of this film are giving our services for free and that's because we really believe in it. So how can you support us and get involved in making our dream a reality? Well, if you look at the side of the campaign, you will see that there are a number of different rewards and perks that you can get by financially donating to the making of the film. You are because at the end of the day, we just wanna make this film. We're really passionate about it. We really hope that you've enjoyed watching this pitch and, that you will get on board and support us. Thank you so much for watching this. And um, yeah, we really are grateful for your energy, support and um, all things that go with it. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, I'm Emma. I'm one of the producers and I'm the director of the film Invincible. To make this project happen, it would be great if we could have your support. Films aren't cheap, but we're gonna keep the costs as low as we can. Any support you can give us would be great. Thanks ever so much.